I'm back with another video. Back, back with another video. Hey, what's up? Thanks again for tuning in into my channel. I hope you subscribe. Do it now. Do it now because you know it's about to get good. She's recording. I need Guru, <laughs> Lady J, personal assistant to the professionals and makeup artists. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey, welcome to Break on Liberty. I just want to show you how I'm going to wear my hair real quick. I'm doing a mohawk for the first. Okay, so you can leave it out like that, but I am going to create a false bang with short locks. Um, this is my way of creating a bang. So let's try it out. Hope you try it out. If you try it out, let me know in the comments. And if you like this style at the end, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. When I pin my locks um, down, I uh, place them through the opening of the body pin. I do not place the body pin through my locks. So make sure you open up the bobby pin and have an opening for your locks and don't pierce your locks with the bobby pin because you don't want to cause any um, weakness in your locks or slippage by putting them through the roots of your locks. Um, so yeah, <laughs> hope you're liking this style. Ugly stage poop. Short sister locker squad stand up. Use as many bobby pins as needed. But uh, make sure you place the bobby pins in um, secure, but where they're not causing any pain. Because mm, a headache from a bobby pin? Nah. Nah. 
I like the style. It's cute. Okay, keep watching. Because I haven't used distilled water in two weeks. And my kids broke my homemade water bottle. So I want to see what's the difference between a regular dollar store water bottle and the 360 mister. We will find out today. But where, where is the water bottle section? I'm gonna go quiet with like that? Yeah. No, you gotta get like. <laughs> I'm gonna go with hi dad instead of hi mom. Okay. Change it up. Hi dog. I like your nails. Thank you. Thank what you about? Do you want to say your name? Sarah Fleming. Melissa. Not, okay. No last name. I don't care about my identity. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sister Locker 2018. Sister Locker? Yeah, one word. <laughs> they are too cute. She was like jumping up and down behind me, but I didn't have the camera where you can see her. <laughs> um, okay, you just came in here for something simple. You can't even do that. Yeah. Oh. What you doing? Um, I'm videotaping me buying a water bottle. <laughs> okay, we're not allowed to have cameras in here. What? Oh, okay. Can I just? It's not on you. You can't. <laughs> you don't have to hide. <laughs> okay. So, dollar store didn't have what I needed. So, I'm right here at Beauty. Um, I'm about to go in to see if they. I know they have the uh, 360 spray, spray bottle. They had it on sale, like right before I got my in, uh, establishment, and I was just like. I'll wait and now I gotta get the regular price. So is that color on your hair? Yeah. It's so pretty. Can I show it on? Thank you. Sure. That is cute. <laughs> oh, you got cute colors. Okay, thank you. Okay, so they have two different sizes. Let me show y'all real quick. So they have this small one for six forty nine, and then they have the big one, and it's called a mist sprayer. Pink one is eight thirty nine, and the black one is ten nineteen. And this one is ten ounces. So. That's a good deal, I guess, because you're just only paying a couple more dollars for a, for a double the size. I'm going to get the pink one because it's $8.39. You know how I do. $2.29. They got this one, too. I think this is what mostly everybody has, like this kind. I got this mini spray bottle for $2.29. And then I have the Mr. Stray spray bottle for $8.39. Take my Sister Life shampoo and do um, water. And a little bit of shampoo mixed in to this bottle so when i do my next shampoo i'm not using a whole lot because it was really watery when i used it the last time so i know you've seen that video when my locks looking dirty she bogus like for real she bogus um but i didn't come on here to say anything about her um i came here to let you know what I'm going to do, okay? Because I know you're wondering, like, what's what you gonna do, girl? What are you gonna do? You just gonna do it yourself? Can you really survive this journey without a consultant or training? I really don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But I'm going to try. Um, the thing that kind of disappointed me is I found out that I can't take the retightening class until I am six months locked and my locks are mature. So I can't just take the class just because I want to. I actually have to um, wait until I'm eligible to take the class. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, I am going to be looking for a sister lock consultant or a trainee. I think I'm gonna go for a trainee. I already have my locks established. I just need someone to retighten them. I'm gonna find someone that I can connect with mesh with um and vibe with and someone who is at a good reasonable rate um and someone that is very good at what they do so lord please help me and um, i'm sending up a prayer for real for real for real because uh i paid too much money to let these go to waste and i mean i feel like why you know what i'm saying like why like, I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me, 
But I'm just saying, like, why me, though? Like, me, though? Because I've been following a lot of journeys. Okay. I want to um, come at you and let you know how I'm really feeling. You know, I went and got my spray bottles, and I'm getting ready for my second Sister Lock shampoo. Uh, but I'm just truly disappointed and um, I was kind of feeling down about my journey But since and through it all if you notice in all my videos I still haven't like tried to dog her out and say a whole lot of bad things about my consultant I really just told exactly what happened to me So and I'm still not gonna like try to say anything bad about her or her work Because that's not the type of person that I am but I'm just telling exactly what my experience was. And I'm hoping that by me telling what happened to me and my journey, it can help someone else in their journey. Because this is just evidence that every journey is not peaches and cream, you know. So it's up to you to take the choice to become a sister blogger. It's not easy. It's not cheap. It's expensive. And it can cost... Um, some blood, sweat, and tears to get this installation um, or establishment. You have to be dedicated. You really have to be dedicated. And I'm dedicated. And instead of getting on here and saying, my consultant is this, my consultant is that, uh, I'm not going to do that. I don't have a reason to do that. It's not going to solve the situation. So, what I'm going to do is find a positive in this situation. If this happened to me, it's giving me the courage to do more research on how I can become a consultant. I was not even really honestly thinking about becoming a consultant um, until these situations happen. And it's going to benefit me. But I just couldn't imagine if this would have happened to someone that um, is not a stylist or a cosmetologist or don't do hair or never did hair or never knew how to wash their own hair. It would be devastating. I'm thanking God that I know how to handle my hair. I'm grateful to God that he gave me a gift to be able to take care of my hair. So in the meantime, in the between time, I'm going to take you on this journey with me to find a new consultant or trainee. So make sure you keep on coming back and watching these videos. Subscriber, make sure you hit that bell so you can get the notification and become a part of the notification squad. So then when I post a video, you know right away. In the loop. You're in the no swing. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the love. And tell your friends to subscribe. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. I'm all